world's longest network of roads. By more than a million miles, it's right here in North America. The one truck created to take on every challenge those roads can deliver. Right here, the all new Volvo VNL. Better efficiency, uptime and performance. The new VNL is a leap forward in every way that counts. Years in the making. These are changes you feel, and miles you don't. Every day, every run. It's ready whenever you are for every load, every test, while seeing further, shifting smoother, staying safer. This is long haul re engineered, reimagined, reshaped. There's simply never been a truck like it. The most advanced vehicle of its kind. the biggest, most complex roadmap on Earth, there's one clear answer. The new Volvo VNL. The shape of trucks to come. On the exterior, a lot of the lines are flowing from the hood all the way back to the sleeping side. We wanted to do the same thing for the interior. So a lot of the lines will wrap through the dash and all the way down into the engine tunnel. Uh, this is important because it kind of envelops the, the control set that the driver will use and it creates this cockpit feel. In the new VNL, the neck tilt feature on the steering column is very unique to the trucking industry. The neck tilt feature allows the customer to adjust the steering column even more from today's telescoping feature. So now they have more leg room to get closer to the controls or it allows for better ingress and egress and allows for different demographics that we couldn't accommodate before. We've added a lot of controls to the steering wheel that allow the user to keep their hands on the wheels at all times for a safer environment and to control the information through the instrument cluster a lot better. The infotainment that we've installed really was a focus on adding more features to the vehicle itself that we couldn't provide in the instrument cluster. Uh, so it'll replace your radio functions, but it'll also give you navigation and allow you to tether your Android or your Apple phone. We've really focused on a lot of the ergonomics and the way you use the features and the functions. We've added a few controls to the new seats in the new VNL. We've improved the comfort level. We've improved the hip point, so there's more travel. 
and the controls are enlarged, so they're much easier to get to, and the flexibility and range of motion is improved. The gauge cluster is completely new. Uh, the gauge cluster gives the driver uh, more information than they've ever had before. The color display allows the driver to see critical messages and it offsets a lot of the, the monochrome that we're used to from the past. We have designed a, a storage area on top of the dash. We know a lot of drivers do prefer to have things on top of the dash. And we've got a rubber lined compartment uh, to keep things from shifting around. The other area that drivers are so concerned about is storage for their drink containers. So we've got multi-function cup holders that are designed to store any number of containers, cups, or beverage items. And if this is not the best location for them for a cup holder, they can move it. This modular rail allows the driver to uh, readjust the cup holder where it's easiest for them to reach. In product design, one of the goals was to create features and functions that the customer may not notice on the first day or the first week, but over the life of the product, they'll begin to appreciate all the features and functions that we've done inside the vehicle. Ultimately, the remote diagnostics program at our certified uptime centers helps keep trucks on the road. If a truck is not running on the road, it's not making money. Fuel efficiency is an equation of powertrain and aerodynamics. And with the new trucks, we have the new greenhouse gas engines. Plus, additionally, we've taken into consideration the aerodynamics of the product by changing the shape and styling of the hood. With all this, we get a pretty significant improvement in fuel economy. Volvo is synonymous with safety, and one of the things that helps reduce total cost of ownership is being able to retain drivers. A lot of drivers like to choose companies that operate safe equipment. Having safe products helps drivers be protected in case of an accident where Volvo is known, the engine drops down when a frontal collision may occur. In addition, it also makes sure that drivers can get back on the road after an accident has happened. We've taken on consideration a lot of things that have uh, affected the design of the product, including simple things like removing the doghouse inside the cab. The doghouse covers the engine cover, and this can be removed now within 12 minutes and without removing the seat to the product. One of the attributes Volvo is known for is having no visible fasteners on the exterior truck. But even with that, we understood the maintenance and serviceability is important. So we've hidden fasteners, but made it so we can access them and still be able to make remove the grill in under two minutes. Double door seal keeps the environment out for the driver in mind, but also demonstrates the rigidity of the product and the quality gone into the design from the very first owner to the second owner of the seventh year. Resale value is an important factor because at the end of a, a truck operation, they want customers will sell the products back to the marketplace to purchase new products and Volvo has been known to have a high resale value. And a lot of this is driven because of the high quality put into the Volvo trucks when they're built. I think this truck stands out by breaking with the norms a, a little bit with what is expected of trucks by actually uh, looking at the efficiency and, and productivity but doing it in a, in a very, very cool way. We got the inspiration for the new Volvo VNL from um, motorsport, from architecture, from boat design. We want to convey a feeling of, of speed and a feeling of power but also very much of efficiency. We have this line in the side of the VNL to really give this sense of movement to the truck. And it's this facet that goes from the top of the bumper all the way along the edge of the hood and into the side of the cab. It gives the uh, truck a sense of motion, a sense of movement, even when it's standing still. Areas that we spend a lot of time with working when it comes to the aerodynamics are the transition points from front to side, across the fenders, across the top of the hood and the edges of the hood. Also the underside of the, the bumper to round it off to make sure that the air passes in the right way around the, the wheels. Clay models are a fantastic tool to um, 
be able to evaluate uh, uh, the technical input that we get on, for instance, aerodynamics. We can very quickly sculpt it into the form. We can step back and have a look at it to see that uh, we're still keeping our design intent. One of the details on the new Volvo VNL, which I'm particularly proud of, are the headlamps. We've achieved excellent functionality with fantastic light output. So um, from a safety point of view, they're fantastic. Uh, we put a lot of work into the detailing of the grill of the new Volvo VNL. We really wanted to give it a sense of dignity to be able to carry the new iron mark there in a good way. You will also see how we, we've carried that pattern through into the air intakes on the side and just varied it slightly. So there's a continuity uh, there of, of pattern and direction. One of the things that really stand out when we get feedback on our product from our customers is how pleasant they are to drive. Like excellent visibility, excellent ruminous, excellent handling on the road. This is something we really wanted to give expression to in the exterior design of the, of the truck. We wanted to feel much more like a car. When a customer first sees this on, on the road, I want them to feel, wow. <laughs> I really want them to be blown away by, by this design. This VNL 760 is an excellent space to spend the night in. Uh, the drivers have all the room they need. The drivers have all the storage they need, even for teams. The new sleeper length meets the specific customer request of having the, the proper length and also the proper width. So now someone who's six foot two can enjoy the lower bunk. The recline bunk feature is very important to us. It's a new feature specifically for Volvo trucks. Uh, it's new to the industry by using a paddle system to operate and change the position of the bunk. So it's a little bit more comfortable. The mattresses are dramatically improved over today's product. We've gone to a hybrid of inner spring and foam. We increased the firmness, the density, and really wanted to allow the customer to enjoy their night's rest. The driver has the ability to keep their items here, their storage pocket, and all the interface here for features in the sleeper, as well as our new door lock. So the driver has a panic and a door lock feature for safety while they're in the sleeper. Building on this airline first class look and feel, we wanted to make sure that each step that the driver takes uh, is reduced when it comes to preparing to go to bed. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that closing out the light during the day was a lot easier so we've introduced these shades i'm six foot two and i have plenty of headroom in the upper bunk it's easy to get in and get out it's comfortable so i have the ability to relax in the upper bunk i have ventilation more power supplied so i have 12 volt and usb but i also have plenty of storage on both sides the sleeper is designed to make the driver as productive and safe as possible not only while they're in the sleeper, but when they're back in the driver's seat. A well-designed sleeper berth equates to a well-rested driver. So at the end of the day, we wanted to make sure that all the comfort and the, the warmth of the product was there for the user. That way, the next day, the driver can get back into the driver's seat and do the job appropriately. Hi, I'm Jason Spence from Volvo Trucks, and this is the New River Valley, Virginia, Volvo's production facility. I'm going to say new three times. New River Valley, this is Volvo's new customer experience center, and the star of the show is our new Volvo VNL 760. The customer experience center was just opened officially yesterday. This is where customers are going to get a unique experience 
with all of our new products, both the VNR and the VNL products, as well as our VHD off-highway trucks. But the star of the show, as I mentioned, is the VNL 760. Volvo has revamped the completely new VNL product line, and uh, the first thing you're going to notice on these trucks is the bold new grille. Said new again, but this uh, this Volvo Iron Mark is bigger than ever. The grille is satin chrome. This truck is more aerodynamic than we've ever had before. Gives you better fuel efficiency, and we've got new powertrain options. We have a 13-liter turbo compound engine, and the best thing about that engine, it reaches maximum torque at only 900 RPM. But going forward, you know, because aerodynamics is so important and styling is so important, uh, you might notice that the bumper on this truck does not have any tow eyes available. But wait, it does actually. See, our designers designed a cover that when the tow eyes are not needed, we actually can cover that area. We know many drivers out there run deer guards or brush guards on the front of the trucks. Now you can remove this cover and easily adapt your deer guard right to the front of that truck itself. In addition, you'll notice the Volvo signature daytime running lights. These are going to be evident no matter what time of night you're driving. You're going to notice a Volvo truck anywhere up and down the road because of these signature lights. This is an LED headlamp, and the best thing about these headlamps, besides how awesome they are at night and driving the light, is that they actually have the ability to defrost and defog. So the LEDs put out heat, there's a cooling fan normally. When it's below freezing, that fan stops or reverses direction and actually allows the surface of the light to be heated, melting ice. It's for safety as well as convenience. Speaking of convenience, I know a lot of you out there are service personnel and drivers have to check their fluids as part of a, as part of a pre trip inspection. So what Volvo has done is given you better serviceability to the engine, better access. The older products for Volvo had a hood mount that came up right in the middle here. It said it would block uh, the access area for your fluids. Now the hood mount has been moved rearward. We've opened up the inner wheel well and the bumper end cap is still removable. So there's plenty of access to service the engine, to check your fluids for your pre-trip inspections. So everything that the designers have done has been based on feedback from drivers, feedback from service. We listened to you and we brought a product to you that is answering a lot of the needs that many of you have. So the VNL 760 is not only a new number, this is a completely new truck for Volvo. The 760 is a 70 inch sleeper. See the VNL 670 that you're used to for the long haul was a 61 inch high roof sleeper. This is a 70 inch high roof sleeper. It gives you nine additional inches of living space in the sleeper, but also it's six inches wider in the sleeper. So you have a larger bunk and more storage area. On the outside of the truck, you're gonna notice the styling, the windows, the shape of the windows, the shape of the body panels. This truck looks like it's moving when it's standing still. In addition, you might see or notice the Globetrotter package on this truck. Globetrotter is new to North America, but there's heritage with this name in Volvo trucks globally. So Globetrotter is going to be the highest package available on the VNL 760. Think about it as luxury for the long haul. It's every possible option you would want uh, if you're living in this truck on the road as many times as possible in this sleeper. You're going to have microwave your TV prep, inverter, parking cooler, parking heater, and the list goes on and on, as well as a little bit of chrome and bright work and bling on the outside. So this truck is really going to show well. It's going to be evident from the lights and the way it looks. We're very proud to offer this new truck to you. 
But I want to show you not only what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. So come with me. We're going to walk a little bit through the Volvo Trucks Customer Center. This is a brand new 36,000 square foot building that's designed to give our customers a unique experience as they walk in here. We have the ability to pull trucks in the building. You'll be able to see your brand new trucks when they come off the line here. You'll be able to go through training here. Uh, this is a multi-use facility and we're very proud to bring it to you. As we go into our living environment room, I'm going to take you through, we're going to turn the lights on here. These are our cutaway cabs. Now the purpose of our cutaway cabs is for training so that we can show you as a customer how the environment works without you having to climb into the cab every time. So it's real easy, for example, I'm going to sit right here in the seat and I'm going to show you how the new Position Perfect steering wheel works. So it's typical that Volvo has a foot pedal for the steering wheel. Why is that? Well, if you have both hands on the wheel, it's much easier to adjust it. So you push the pedal all the way to the floor and you can do the tilt and the telescope of the wheel. Once you bring the pedal halfway up, then you can adjust the neck tilt feature. This is what Position Perfect is all about. It gives me the ability to set the column right in the right place. When I get it right, I can adjust the neck tilt, and now I can see all the gauge cluster right in front of me. It's both for comfort, productivity, and safety, because safety is visibility. Speaking of productivity, though, this is one of the seven new seats that Volvo is uh, providing to you. This is called the X6 level of seat. This seat has a new uh, automatic air release. So if I were to get in and out of the truck, all I have to do is push this. It drops the seat down. It's easy to get in and out. Obviously, I can pull the steering wheel up and I have plenty of access around. In addition, we have a new dampening feature. Because some drivers are lighter than others and they get bounced around in the air seats, you can adjust the dampener and that slows that rate of travel down, makes it more comfortable. We also, with the new leather seats, we have a heating and cooling effect, a ventilation effect with three levels of fan speeds. So these are just some of the features of these amazing new seats. They are so adjustable. Uh, it's just, it, this is probably one of the most um, comfortable products you'll ever sit in uh, when it comes to the brand new Volvo VNL and VNR trucks. Each one of our cutaway cabs is configured a little differently. So I'm able to show that the switch layouts might be different. This one has one auxiliary gauge. Some of our customers prefer to have auxiliary switches in this location, but you could get two auxiliary gauges here. The driver information display is also customizable. So I have steering wheel buttons on the face of the wheel. I can use my right thumb and I can go through the different gauge selections. I can also make adjustments to it. I can check truck data. Um, I can do pre-trip assistant, everything through this right here. So it's, it's highly configurable. I can change many things within the display. We also have feedback sounds. We have color so that if there are alerts that pop up here, if it's something that's information, it'll be in a yellow color. If it's something that's urgent or a warning, it's going to be in red. So those are just some of the new features, the way that we're bringing safety, communication, interaction between the driver and the truck. We have 21 buttons now on the steering wheel within reach of your thumbs. So there's a lot on the face of the wheel. The reason we did that is for safety. We pulled buttons off of the stock. We pulled buttons away from the dash. We put them at your fingertips. That way your hands are always on the wheel and you can focus forward. But I'm going to climb out of here. We're going to go to one of our other sleepers. This is the back section of the VNL 760 70-inch sleeper. This happens to be one of our dinette sets. It's also called a workstation. 
And in this case, the table can collapse. You can spread the uh, cushions out and make that as a lower bunk. This one's equipped with a lower and upper bunk and a telescoping ladder. So it gives you a work environment along with a resting environment. And many of our customers prefer to keep it set up this way. That way they have, uh, they have a, a dual area in their sleeper. And, uh, and now that we have uh, larger storage compartments and cabinets, this is a more livable environment than ever before. But I also want to take you over to our VNL 740 sleeper. So the 740 is the mid roof, while the 760 is the high roof. The VNL 740 sleeper has an optional rear storage area. So these timbre doors all open up to give you plenty of storage. When, they, when you close the doors, it's clean, it's efficient, and safe. So we're really um, pleased to be able to bring this much storage in a mid-roof sleeper. But one of the best things about the new Volvo sleepers is some of our bunk options. I just showed you the dinette set, but this is not just a flat mattress. This is obviously a premium Volvo mattress with pocketed coil springs, but it's also a reclining mattress. The reclining feature on this bunk allows the mattress to pull up to where you can sit and relax in the bunk itself. You can watch TV. If you have other entertainment or devices, you can pull them out of the back storage pocket, set them up, and you have a full entertainment corridor. You can work back here. Um, but really, this is based on feedback from you that we don't always sleep in the sleeper. We use the sleeper to relax, to rest, and this kind of environment is made so it's adjustable to your needs. Those are some of the neat things. We have plenty of lighting. We have HVAC as far as our uh, parking cooler options on this, and that would be a control here. Speaking of controls, this rear wall area is now um, accessible while you're sitting in the bunk, as I obviously am, or resting in the bunk. It's not behind your head on the sidewall. So it's designed so that you can stand in front of the bunk, reach this area, or you can sit in the bunk and reach it. I also want to point out some of our larger cabinets. This is the new 60 liter refrigerator uh, that's part of our multi-purpose refrigerator cabinet. It has a slide out drawer with a writing surface, power supplies, drink holder capability, and we have plenty of storage on the other side with foot locker and a storage compartment. We have our TV with storage available behind it. And then also storage on the other side with the microwave or you could get a, a door cabinet here. So storage is so important. We know that. We've heard that from you and we want to bring you the most possible storage as, as well in the space. And the last thing I wanted to point out is the new shades. So this is an aircraft style shade. So no longer do you have to snap the vinyl covers around the windows. You just close, open the shades to open the window. You pull that lever around 90 degrees, it hinges out. It gives you the airflow even in the mid-roof sleeper. Finally, I started out talking about seats. We have seven levels of seats to show you, and this is all shown in the new Volvo Customer Center, but we'll be bringing it to you in shows in the future as well. So each level of seat has a different fabric and some different features. So as I sit in the X2 seat, I'm going to point out that this is an X1 vinyl seat. It is extremely comfortable, but what's so unique about it is the passenger seat has a pull-out refrigerated compartment. This refrigerated compartment is accessible to the driver. Again, this is provided based on responses to what you use in your trucks today. Most drivers that, uh, that I know that we've interviewed, that we've taken pictures of their trucks, they have coolers on top of their seat, in front of their seat, in between the seats. The purpose of this is to help you eliminate that cooler provide a clean storage area that's refrigerated. So when you're running down the road, you're 
you stopped, you can reach over, grab your water or whatever. Maybe you have medication in this area that has to stay cool. That's what this seat is for. So those are some of the brand new features we're bringing to you, and we're excited to bring more later on as we talk to you. Thank you. Feel the cry